Okay guys, so I'm going to be reviewing the Sword Shuttlelift 5540F along with the Grove Yard Boss 5515. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to show this one and then I'm going to bring in the other version of it because they're the same exact thing except for the color. Now before I actually get into depth in this review, I want to point out there that this model really is one that is contained to a shelf. And I say that for one reason and it's because for one it's extremely small and for two it really can't lift much and compared to a normal 150th scale model say like an excavator or something it it just really doesn't uh, compare it's just a, a very small model and very limited in what it can actually do so now, uh, to get into the build quality, because that's the one thing I want to say first, uh, spectacular, it's just about everything you would expect from a TWH sword model, um, really no issues with that. Um, so to start off, I'm going to raise the model on the outriggers because they are pretty different. Now, uh, I, I guess this machine is supposed to work in uh, tight conditions or where there's really no space, so I guess that's why these outriggers are like this. And if you look kind of just like slide down like that which is actually pretty cool and surprisingly they do hold up fairly well with the model not like the model is heavy or anything but I would have thought that they would have you know failed under the model's weight so that's what it looks like with them up uh, looking at them you could see hopefully I get this well they have these holes in them and I don't know if you can see, but there's one right there, and then there's one right there. I don't know why they're there. Maybe they're there to so you can put a pin there so they won't slide up. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, but they are there, and uh, they do look pretty cool. They kind of look like real outriggers that sometimes have holes in them, so there's a sweet. Looking at the front of the model, there's a latch for the hook, and there is actually a little hole in there, but I'd... I'm unsure if the hook could actually stay in there. And uh, these lugs up here, which I, you know, you see on rough terrain cranes, they tie off the block there, but maybe that's a tie that break down on a low boy or to even lift it. I'm unsure. The whole uh, model has super nice decals. They're really crisp, and you can see them here, and then the striping, and uh, the lights up here, and the great orange color. I think that the orange is just really, really nice on these models. Looking at the tires, they do turn, um, and uh, they turn all right. They're nothing crazy. Uh, to show you the turning uh, radius, um, I mean it's decent. That's not something that I would really go over, but uh, you know it is still uh, really nice. Showing you up top because it is fairly interesting. These doors over here open. And if you look in there, there's really not much there. I guess it's like a uh, compartment or whatnot for rigging. And if you look in the light, you can see that's textured and it's that anti-slip texture that you see on the real cranes. And back here, this over here also will come off and that will show the engine. So that's also very cool. Um, and when you get the model, there's actually, there's one on the other side as well. And they're just little things that you have to put on when you get it. If you look, there's also one right here. And while we're back here, if you open this up, you can see the engine again. And if I could get it open, if I can, I can. Uh, I can't get it open at the time. I don't want to waste too much time. Um, it's just as, like the other side. And when you get the model, they'll be open and they'll be in a bag and you have to put them on. And uh, this does open fairly, you know, fairly nice. And you can see the inside there. Turning to what is also a, a very nice feature. And I do like how they added this. What they did was... They made this door so it opens. And that's very cool. I mean, f for such a small model, the opening door is very nice. And the good thing about it is you could see right into the cab. And the cab has the pedals on the ground. 
the seat, the steering, and a ton of warning labels. And I guess uh, you can make out a, a chart over there um, in the back of the cab. Just really, really cool. I like that a lot. Another cool thing about the cab is you can see it has a windshield wiper as well since the crane can turn and that's something that I want to show before I show the rest it can turn at 360 you can see that pretty much the entire cab minus the back which has a little window you can see out of so that's very cool and I wanted to point that out now if you look and if you're familiar with this model you'll know this if you're not you probably won't my cylinder has these holes in it and that's so I could pin the cylinder so the boom won't sink and it is unfortunate that it, that it does sink but it is a single cylinder and it is also very small so I'm just gonna pin my boom uh, at the lowest angle so looking at I guess would what would be the counterweight you can see it has the warning stripes and they look very nice you, you can't deny that they don't look nice and back here we have the winch the winch really doesn't have much line in it um, to be honest, I believe that they made this model more for looks than functions because there was really not much line in it. And I mean, I guess the real crane would only run a whip line most of the time. Not saying that it wouldn't run, say, a two part block or something. But uh, the way that they made the model is to strictly run the whip line. And the way you move the drum is you just twist it, as you could see right there, like on the groves. A really cool thing is that they have the angle indicator right there so and it does actually move uh, sometimes you gotta push it straight but um, for the most part it does move and it and it does work correctly which is very cool I like that a lot looking at it, it has a shuttle lift and then going up top which I guess I'll lower the boom Over here is a light and I believe this would be the LMI now the sections do extend and they're cool in the fact that they're really thin and I like that a lot um, it does give them that look that they are in scale and they do go well with the rest of the machine but the the whole model does want to tip very easily I guess because there's not much to it but you can see here you know very nicely made and the paint is also really nice and I'm just gonna fold them in for now um, but besides the point I have the jib added on this one and I always find cranes hard to review because of my limited space so hopefully you bear with me here um, and the jib just pins on right here with these two pins and then you bring the line over the top and then here's the end of the jib you can see it has the holes in it to lessen the weight like a heavy haulage trailer and by bringing the line you can see the hook block that they give you to run off the jib which is going to be so hard to review now looking at the hook block you can see it's not really the biggest thing around it it is actually pretty small and uh, not really you know the best thing around but there's the orange one and, and to show the yellow one and I want to show this one because it shows the jib folded in and the large block that they give you so there's a large block um, a lot better looking but uh, here's the yellow one and with the jib folded in that's what it looks like to be honest the yellow one looks a lot nicer in pictures or under a very bright light because when it's not under a bright light it you know it looks very dark and one thing I forgot to show on the orange uh, shuttle lift is there's the hydraulic lines that run from the slowing gear to the top so um overall is it a nice model it's a nice model in the sense that it's detailed but it's not a nice model in its functions because as you can tell from its size it's not really there to lift much but I believe it's there more as a as a display for a truckload or even to hang it from another crane like a 4100 or you know a, a Grove mobile crane or something so in the long run nice little model to have but not too uh, good in its functions and what I mean by that is I'm sorry to go so long in this video but if you're someone that's looking to get into cranes I would honestly say save your money and don't get it because I know a lot of people are gonna jump on it because it's 
you know, it's not very expensive, and it seems like people don't, don't buy crane models because they are expensive. But to be honest, I say save your money because this really is kind of like a truckload. But nice model anyway.